So we start out with an input for vertex cover, then apply pre-processing using the rule that we just discovered, which means we then already know that this vertex here must be put into the vertex cover, as well as this one here and this one here. And these all do not have to be in the vertex cover. And this, of course, is dramatically effective in this case here. It's unfortunately not always the case in practice, but as you can see, it only leaves a very small part of the network actually where we have to find an assignment. But the main point is that we now put this into a search tree to find the best possible vertex cover for those vertices where we have not yet found an assignment. And now my point is this. The search tree that we had so far was as follows. We started out by looking at an uncovered edge, and then we branched into three possibilities. So we either put exactly one of the vertices into the vertex cover or both. And now comes the cool part. If we have applied pre-processing, then we can redesign our search tree. Because what this pre-processing step means basically is that we have eliminated or we have already assigned all vertices that have just a single neighbor. So now that we have applied pre-processing, we know a little bit more about these vertices here because we know that this vertex here will have at least one more neighbor because otherwise we would have already found it in the pre-processing. And this one here will also have another neighbor. So there can be more, same thing here. So what we can now do is we can do a more sophisticated search tree. And that sophisticated search tree is going to be based on this part here, these three vertices. You can do more sophisticated search trees, but I just want to show you the basic principle here.